Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be sorting out this absolute mess of a drawer. Look at the state of it. I mean, I want to take some things out um, and keep them somewhere else because I want to put all of my Gelbox UK um, pullers like standing upright so I can see the lids because at the moment I'm just having to dig through them. And then I've also got a container of them over there on the other side of the room. Obviously that's not ideal. So I need to sort out this drawer, put them all in there um and that's my plan this is also obviously the january vip box that i need to unbox and put away i don't even this was in a christmas gift that i got off a client and this was in the jail box uk box last month so yeah look at the state of this drawer it's absolutely it's just a nightmare it's so stressful i've also got some pots in here that i didn't even know that i'd put in here so i can use those to put some loose glitters in that are still in bags at the moment um but yeah so join me for this uh chaotic sort out <laughs> so first things first i'm just going to take out all this random stuff that is just sat on top i always use this pen with this notebook that's back here so then when clients want designs and stuff we sit and um like talk through it and write down what we need i've even got my log book in here like how random this is just that drawer like you know when everyone's got one of those drawers where they just throw everything as you can tell this is mine I'm just going to clear off these so I can pick this up better. And then I'm just going to... Oh my god. Pick up this one. Okay, I've emptied the drawer out um, off camera because it's a lot easier for me to do that like when I've got two hands to use instead of holding my phone. So, just going to clean off that it's really messy um this is what we're left with so i'm just going to take out these pots because like i said i have got loose glitters that i need to pot up random stick there swatch sticks everywhere as you can tell this is very clearly that drawer that you just throw throw stuff in so i'm gonna get rid of those they're going to have to go in a bin, to be fair. A lot of them are just covered in gel. But there's just a certain stuff in this drawer that I don't use, whereas I do actually use the Gelbox UK colours. So I want to have them in a usable place instead of the stuff that I don't use, obviously. So that can go with my other tutorials. So this is the mess that we've got. This here is a watch, which is completely random, and a bubble, which is also random. So I'm just going to take out the uh, the gels and put these down the side here. I want to see how many of these I can fit in this container. So I'm just going to put them next to it. I don't think that will. Um, so I can see how many would go in it, basically. So I've got loads more of these Gelbox UK colours. These are just the ones that are just floating around at the moment. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times five. Uh, 40, I think. My maths is terrible. So if it's not, don't worry. I will figure it out. <laughs> You'll probably be shouting at the screen if I'm wrong, but don't worry. Right, so... I do use these flakes as a magpie ones. Um, I do want to take everything out though, just because as you can see, it's got a bit messy because all of my, uh, what's it called, gel paints are leaking. So I want to take them all out and give them a clean. This one is now furry because I've stuck a cotton pad to the bottom of it, which is just fantastic. Just what I wanted. <laughs> um, so... I'm just going to give them all a quick wipe over. I'm going to try and... I know it sounds stupid to wipe off cotton pad with cotton pad, but I'm going to try and get it sticking and get it off like that. So I'm just doing this around the outsides to get any excess off there. Uh... And then I'm going to do the same for all of them. So I'm just going to quickly do this off camera because obviously it's not the most fun task in the world to watch me do. Okay, I've cleaned them all now. I'm just going to take out this 
napkin and put a new one in so it's nice and clean. Put that and wipe over. It's better. I'm going to pop um, I'm going to put everything back in that how it was because I actually quite liked that so it's fine. So I'm just going to pop this in so we've got a nice fresh napkin that doesn't look dirty like that last one did it just keeps the tray clean as well i'm gonna put this back in as well because i liked the layout of that and i don't like to change things too much um just because especially the ones that i actually use because i, I get stressed out that it's somewhere else and like i get used to just reaching for the same things like in the same places so when it's not there it actually winds me up a bit which is very dramatic but you know that's me so that's those they're all snug which is perfect and then i'm just going to pop these two down the side here like they were before i think in terms of this one here that's done now so i'm going to pop that back into the drawer and then what I need to do is this tray um, can actually just go back in like this because I'm not going to put those glitters in there because it's very random. I'm going to put that there instead. That's not even a magpie thing there. There we go. That's going to go back in as it was as well. I don't really use my inkies anymore to be honest with you but never mind i've got lots of these because i emptied the foils out of them ages ago um and yeah so i've, I've just left them in there because i don't really know what to do with them i'm going to just sort out these differently move them all down a bit because i want to get these rosalind gels in here because i actually do use these now like i've got the swatches out for them now and clients are picking them I'm going to take this out because it doesn't fit really. So I do want to keep those next to me all the time because again, I do use them. So next thing I need to sort out is these here. They're all just nails. More swatch sticks, obviously. Um, is there anything even in this or is it empty? No, it's empty. I'm really not very good at throwing away uh, empty bottles. So I'm a bit of a hoarder in that respect. It's very annoying. Um, I do need another tray, though, to keep these gels in. So I've just found this white one. And in fact, I might use that instead of the clear one for the gels. So I've got to empty that one out. So let's get rid of that. I need to even get the gels. That would be a good start. So here's all the, oh, the Gel Box UK gels. This is definitely not going to hold all of them, so I might end up having to use that other one after all. So to start off with, I'm just going to throw them all in. And then I'll sort out colour-wise more when they're in, so I can see how many this holds. oh actually if i could get these down there sideways oh my god that is perfect that is all of them how how just good is that <laughs> that's made me really happy that that's worked out like that so i think those three are builder gels so i'm going to put those all together is this one a builder to spice latte let's have a look no it's not a builder gel that's a gel color so is that a builder gel i think so yeah so they're the three builders after all so i'm going to move that down here i'm just trying to get them so they're in a slight color order like even just a little bit they're the three builders down here is the blues so let's swap that with a pink Got green as well. We've got nudes. Right, let's get pinks first. I think that's all the pinks. Those three. This one's a pink. 
uh, and then noobs next. And then we'll go with purples, lilacs, etc. That's like a movie colour, so that can go there. Then we've got red, we've got gold, we'll put that there, and then yellow. We'll put this brownie sort of colour next to that mustardy one. Then we've got the two brown glass gels. We've got a red here. So I'm going to move that gold. Oh gosh. We've got black, which will go down the bottom. Oh, yellow. I'm going to pop the yellow here. And then we've got green. And then the two blues at the bottom. So that's more of a colour order. It's a lot less stressful now. Um, is that red or is it brown? No, it is red. It's fine. So I'm going to pop that back in the drawer now. This is what the drawer is looking like. And this is what it's looking like now. It's got the gels in. Much better. And then down here, this gap, I'm going to put the gel box. No, not the gel box. Sorry, I've got that in my head now i'm gonna put the gel obsession colors down there and the two glitters should i put them lined down i'm gonna put them lined down just because they fit perfectly um so this drawer's looking much better than how it started definitely <laughs> much prefer it now um so i just need to pot up some stuff now so I've got the December box here and the January one that I haven't actually done anything with yet, which is just brilliant. Very organised, well done me. <laughs> um, so let's sort those out. So first of all, I just need to clear out these pots because I've got a bit of gel in from the, not gel, a bit of glitter in from the previous glitter that was in them. I'm just going to clean those off and then I can put these glitters in there. So we've got this one, let's move the light so you can see what I'm doing. I've got trust. Just gonna pop that in here. Definitely spilt way too much, but never mind. I'll put the lid on that one and then we've got pink oyster yeah pink oyster this part's already clean so i'll use that one i always just put the names on the bottom and the logo sticker on the top So that's another one done. Um, and then we've got what have we got? Crystals. Oh gosh, what was going to drop that? We've got shapes. Silent Night is not a glitter that I would use, so I'm going to keep that as a giveaway sort of thing for the next one that I do. This Veronica is absolutely stunning, but again, just let me just get my light. It's not something that I'm going to use because my clients just don't have things like that. Um, raspberry is hearts, but I think it's got glitter in as well, so I'll give that away because I've already got a glitter similar and separate hearts. And then rainbow candy. In fact, this box actually might be of stuff that I said I was going to give away, so that's probably why that's all in there. So we'll keep that like that. I've got some stickers and a foil here. So let me get my shapes thing. I've got loads of them. Um, yeah, quite a few. I'll show you what's in them. So we've got this one. Just got all these shapes and stuff in. And then we've got this one, which has got lots of crystals in. 
and then we've got this one which is already which is already full of crystals as well and we've got this one which is a mixture because it's not sparkles flies uk stuff and then we've got this one which is also sparkles flies uk and it's got shapes in so this is what i'm using at the moment because it's the only one that's got any gaps in it so i'm going to put those crystals in this one next to the one that's already got crystals in just had the realization that i haven't actually sorted out the stuff from the calendar so i'm going to do that as well i wanted to keep on top of where i was at with videos of fit gosh with filming this uh advent calendar from sparks Flies uk so it turns out <laughs> i've actually got a lot more stuff to sort out than i realized so this video is going to be a long one very sorry but you know might as well take you along with me I'm going to put these in here. I like to have as few physical pots to look through as possible because it just is so time consuming. So here's more crystals. They can go in this one. These ones are lovely, these cool blue ones. those that's a bit wonky so that's the 24th the 23rd was a glitter which i need to take out with that anyway so let's do that it's got a foil so i'm going to do two foils here a foil for actually i've put the foils in there new foils just don't really have anywhere to keep foils at the moment i need to I still keep forgetting I just dropped, want to um buy more of the inserts for the thing that i use the foil holder so anyway more foil <laughs> i love i absolutely love this glitter really really love this one really stunning I don't know if we've got any more crystals or shapes. There's some crystals. These glitters are going to come in really handy for April, like in one March, April time, spring. They're very spring like. That I'm going to put in a giveaway because I won't use it. And there's another one of that. I'm actually going to pop these crystals in the giveaway as well because I've just popped some black crystals in there. So, And they're too big for my clients. So I'm probably not going to use those. So let's pop these back in here. Foils. In fact, I've got space in my bottom drawer, I think, to put that gel paint pot in the bottom. So many glitter spots, unbelievable. I'm always trying to complain now I've got these swatch bits, they're all there. So, I need to find those now. Do you ever start a pack and just wish you hadn't? I'm at that point now. So, let's put all these away, get them out of my way. Right, that's that bottom drawer sorted. I know you couldn't see me then for a second, but it's just doing a quick sort out so it's faster. Right, so glitters. I don't know whether to put them in these or not, or just keep them 
I don't think that's going to hold a lot, to be honest. Let's have a look. Let's just see how much it looks like in one of these. I don't think it's going to look even half full. Which, to be honest, doesn't really matter. I don't know why I'm really bothered about that. It's not going to look half full if I keep spilling most of it on the desk, is it? <laughs> they do look quite empty, but I think I'm going to go with that anyway. So I'm going to put all of these ones in that, like these pastel ones, so they all match. But look how silly that looks, because it's nearly empty. I don't know whether I like the look of that. Oh, it's just storage at the end of the day. When I order more of these, I'll um, transfer them over. But I've still got loads and loads of glitters in my drawer, um, in my glitter drawer, on the other side of the room, that doesn't have... Oh, I really like that that fits perfectly though. That's made me very happy. Have I just threw that one away? Let me just get that back. So I can put the name on the bottom again because I forgot to do that. Lilac slushy. But yeah, if these were like at least just half full, I think they look really nice. But I'm not buying all these glitters again just to be able to get a full pot because the chances of me using this amount is very slim so there's a really bad job of that one it's not central but never mind uh fairy tale that's what we're doing now oh i've just pulled my phone out of the halter let me put that back in there we go on the bottom this is the sort of stuff that like desperately needs doing in my room and makes a huge difference to how I work because I actually feel a lot less stressed when all my stuff is sorted. But it's one of the jobs that I just, I really don't enjoy doing it, like this sort of thing. I love organising stuff, like when everything's in the organised pots and things, I will love it. But actually putting it in them, like I just, it's really not for me, <laughs> to be honest. I hate doing stuff like this, but it's got to be done. Getting the glitter off that so the sticker sticks better. Also need to have some oh that lid's gone. Also need to have some lunch at some point soon. And I've just realised that these ones are gonna look quite empty, like just because it's a fine glitter, like they don't take up a lot of space. And they all there always looks like there's less of them in the pots that I use as well, it's better because of that. Uh, I'm just going to do these two off camera real quick. Okay, I've potted up the ones that I'm going to. So that was just randomly loose and I've potted up these three. So they're ready to go with my others. I've got three of these spare. So I'm just going to pop those in a gap basically. Um, I'll show you the drawers in a second. But here's my extra foils that won't fit in my foil folder now because it is full i just pop them all in here and i've got lots next to me as well that need to go in there but i'll sort them out another time so that's the extra foils that won't fit in my holder so like i said i'm only just going to get rid of all these um swatch sticks because i don't even know which Oh my gosh, which colours are which? Some of them haven't even been top coated, so they're all sticky and disgusting. I need to do them again, really, and make them actually look good. Oh, look at that. Right, so I don't use these butterfly things either, so I'm going to get rid of those. In fact, the ones that are not covered in gel, I might pop in the giveaway box because I do put gels in the giveaways, and it would be nice if anyone could make use of these. The others are just caked in gel. They've been sat next to the gel paint. So that is fiberglass. Just in case I ever want to use it. Right, I'm happy. I'm getting there. So that's that. That is giveaway stuff. So I can just shut that and keep it next to me for now. Then I'll upgrade it to a bigger box when it comes to it. Don't need that. 
those three are spares and then those need to go in a different drawer these are just random um, but i do keep them just because i'm a hoarder and i find it difficult to get rid of stuff and then i've got a spare of these so i'm going to show you now what i've done with the drawers so this is the bottom drawer now. I used to just have these in and then be a bit of a mess, but I've obviously put those gel paints in there. I don't know why that one's upside down. Still haven't got around to finishing the swatches of those and I never use them, but there's those pastel pretty glitters. That one I haven't done anything with. Oh, there's some cotton pads. And then this is that middle drawer that was actually originally a nightmare, basically. So yeah, that is this video finished, thank God, because it's been on going on for long enough. But thank you so much if you watched all the way through and if you watched even a little bit. But um, I'll be back soon in another video. Bye.